Now, one of the things you did, uh, Coach, when you got the job coming in uh, to Memphis, you put the ball in the hands and made a decision to go with Mike Conley Jr. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he hadn't really gotten much of a shake up to that point, but he responded with a tremendous second half of the season. The first half wasn't bad, but his second half of the season was remarkable, and he started doing things that people weren't sure he could do, particularly shoot the ball out to the three-point line. Well, you know, that that's something that he'd been working on when he wasn't playing. So to get the opportunity to do that in a game situation was big. And he gained confidence as he went along, and he was able to show people. I mean, he shot near 40% or over 40% from the three-point line, and he shot over 80% from the, from the free throw line. So he's coming. He's got to get better. All of our guys have to get better, but I'm happy with how the season ended and how we came together as a team, how we worked hard and we established a culture of how our team is going to be. Coach Lionel Hollins of the Memphis Grizzlies joining us here at the Las Vegas Summer League. Coach, we, we talked about this, uh, I think it was with Pritchard yesterday, Kevin Pritchard, GM of the Portland Trailblazers. The fact that <clears throat> so many people will label a guy that comes out of college that does not have a jump shot coming out of college as a guy who will never get a jump shot. And it's annoying to me. And Mike Connolly is a perfect example of, and, and, and for most guys, it doesn't happen as quickly as Mike. You know, as we said, being 40% second half uh, from three last year. Uh, but if, if you work hard, you have great coaching, you can turn a bad jumper into a good good jumper, can you not? For sure. And that, it's about working. I would say if you come in the NBA and you have the ability to work, and then you have the willingness to be coached and the aptitude to take instruction and take it on the court and implement it, you'll be able to get better. No doubt about it. And you made a couple of changes, you know, speaking of coaches. Damon Stoudemire came in uh, as one of your assistant coaches. And, yeah, I watched him when we, we got we played you guys four times this year. And I watched him before each one of those games. And he really took a lot of time working with Mike Conley Jr. on the nuances of the game. So for a guy like that, for a guy like Mike Conley Jr., to have a head coach who's a point guard and then – a point guard, another dynamic point guard on your coaching staff, he really got the best of both worlds in terms of the ability to go to multiple sources to gain knowledge of that position. Well, you know, adding Damon was great. He has great experience. He just finished playing. He's got a wealth of knowledge. And uh, to be able to come in and share with a guy like Mike Conley, who he was a teammate of just recently, you know, is invaluable because you get that instant respect, and he knows what you can do, and, and he really appreciates what you've already done.